Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. During a meeting with Italian representatives of missionary congregations, Pope Francis said that without the joy of the gospel, one cannot be a missionary. He encouraged them to promote the missionary transformation of the church's life and pastoral activity. The Pope said it is necessary to rediscover the mysticism of mission in all its fascinating beauty and a thirst for communion with Christ through witness, which their founders experienced, leading them to give themselves totally. The Holy Father thanked the missionary congregations for their dedication to their vocation. Catholic Charities USA, a network of 165 charities serving millions of needy Americans, is offering $1 million to its member agencies to come up with innovative proposals to solve the poverty issue. President and CEO of Catholic Charities, Sister Donna Markham, invited diocesan agencies to submit proposals for new programs to meet people's needs. The winners will be announced during the organization's next annual gathering, and awards will be given to three diocesan agencies based on the size of their operation. Steve Bogus, Catholic Charities USA's Vice President of Social Enterprise and Workforce Development, said that the competition is meant to inspire Catholic Charities staffers around the country to think of new ways to address poverty. Pope Francis has once again expressed concern and worry over the poor and that the developing countries are being used by superior ones for their advantage. While he was celebrating Mass for the World Day of Migrants and Refugees at St. Peter's Square, he said the migrants and refugees are the victims of a throwaway culture. He called upon Christians to be compassionate towards the poor, as they are often isolated and discriminated by society. Following the Mass, the Holy Father unveiled a sculpture depicting 140 migrants of all generations and at different times in history. As the Christians in the Middle East are slowly returning to their homes, the Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Pietro Parolin urged the UN representatives attending the General Assembly in New York to help rebuild the region that was severely damaged by the Islamic State. He said that this was a sign of Christian victory and triumph over evil. He compared it to the Holy Family's plight when Joseph, Mary, and Jesus had to flee Bethlehem and escape to Egypt, fearing King Herod's wrath. Cardinal Parolin thanked the Hungarian government who hosted the event, Aid to the Church in Need, the Knights of Columbus, and Caritas International for their humanitarian efforts. Cardinal Robert Serra, the prefect for the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments, celebrated his 50th ordination anniversary mass at St. Peter's Basilica. During his homily, Cardinal Serra said that the inner life of a priest should be centered around the cross, the Eucharist, and the Virgin Mary. Serra explained that the cross makes possible the birth of divine life within us and that the Virgin Mary watches over one's spiritual development as a mother who educates us to grow in faith. Sarah said the priest is the most magnificent work, the most generous gift that God has given to humanity, the most precious and unprecedented treasure that exists on earth. Cardinal Robert Sarah was born in French Guinea in 1945 and was ordained a priest on July 20th, 1969. Thank you for watching and for your support. Stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord and may peace be with you always.